Teresa with targeted reading instruction based at Frank Porter Graham Child Development Institute. And today we're going to talk about how to enhance neuroplasticity in the reading brain. In our last video, we learned how important focused attention was when teaching reading. However, we also know with young children, attention wanes quickly. Active engagement allows a teacher to draw out a child's ability even when they're starting to lose focus. When we challenge and engage a child with a task that is scaffolded to their instructional level, their brain fires and sends a message that a change in the wiring needs to occur. It is this change in the existing circuitry which is how the reading brain develops. Let's watch for the use of active engagement in this next video. Also notice in the upper left corner of the screen, different areas of the brain activating as Lily engages with this reading task. Mm -hmm. I would like you to tell me what sounds you hear in the word duck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't, know. Don't know? Okay, let's try. Let's look at this picture. What is that a picture of? A duck. Do you know what a duck is? Mm. Or could you use duck in a sentence? I saw a duck. I saw a duck. Very good. I'm going to put that picture right here. Okay. Now I want you to look at the screen and look at your lips and say duck. D duck. You just said duck. And what was the first sound? D. D. Very good. Okay. Let's see if we put those sounds. I'm going to mix them around. I want you to tell me, what's the first sound again that you heard in duck? What was the first sound in duck? Say it with your lips, duck. D there you go. Can you find the D and say the sound? D. And I love where you put it. Very good. Okay, what's the next sound in duck? Very good. Can you find that? I thought I might have to help you out. Uh, okay, and what's the last sound in duck? K. Good job. Can you find the k and say duck? Very good. Let's check our sounds. D -a -k duck. Very good. Perfect. And you know what a duck is, right? Yeah. What sound does a duck make? Quack. Quack, quack. Yep, very good. During this video, I wanted to keep Lily actively engaged in this reading, brain-building task. I wanted her to start to develop pathways in her brain for matching words with their associated sounds and letters. First, Lily said the word by using the region of her brain associated with speaking. Next, I asked her to define or use the word duck in a sentence. This activated an area of the brain that processes meaning and the understanding of words and phrases. As Lily spoke the word and used it in a meaningful way, her brain areas worked together in harmony. Next, I asked her to isolate the first sound in the word, duck. This phonemic awareness task engaged the area of her brain associated with phonology. I immediately asked her to locate and say the sound as she pulled down the letter associated with that spoken sound. This letterbox region is specifically developed for recognizing letters. As Lily said the sound and found the letter, the visual area of her brain and the area responsible for phonemes were both firing. This is extremely important as she begins to wire together new neural pathways. Lily continued to connect sounds to their associated letter tiles. She then repeated the word duck and confirmed that she knew what a duck was. This activity engaged the language and the reading networks in Lily's brain so that next time she sees the word duck, she will be more able to decode and read the word herself. Thanks for watching.